Hello and welcome back to Might and Magic, World of Zine. So last time we went to a tower. This time we'll go to a tower. Just a different tower. And after that we will go to a tower. Because apparently this is the time of towers or something. Also, yeah, I shuffled things around a bit and gave people ruby slings and force longbows. Force actually adds a bonus to might quite a lot at that. Uh, Sarek was about 44, I think, without it, so yeah. Um, not too sure how that compares to everything else, but hey. Where to? Anyway, where I want to go is to River City. And right outside of River City. Because if you recall this place, there was something that we could not enter before. Well, now we can enter it, because now we have the key. I see you have the key to this tower. You may pass, mortals. This is the Tower of High Magic. A very nice name. Also, that is flying feet. Not too sure what that does. Also, one thing I kind of accidentally saw in the clue book while browsing things is that these sparkly things are not teleporters this time. Instead, they are mana drain. Also, ow. Ow! Okay, note to self. Cast the F protection. Wow, yeah. Also, I have almost 2 million now. Yay. Uh, let's uh, cast... Cure... Nature's Cure, Nature's Cure. Nature's Cure, yes. No, okay. Apparently not everyone got hit as badly as our three last characters did. Well, I guess this does uh, earn its name as the Tower of High Magic. It's full of magic traps. Pandorian Box. Who will open? They're saying maybe, which probably means it hurts, but it does give you something. So... Okay, so it opened and out flew the flying feet, and then we got treasure. So let me read the description of the flying feet since I didn't get the chance to do that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Flying feet, 3,000 experience, 40 hit points, 14 AC, 30 speed, 2 attacks for 4 to 20 physical damage, no ranged attack. Flying feet are conjurations of the sorcerers of the Tower of High Magic. The feet are fast and resistant to magic. Well, we're not using magic, we're using might. Alright, well, um, I see the exit here. Oh, and I see a potion there. Hmm. Also, um, Scotty now has more hit points than Kirk. Because level 20, level 20, level 19, level 27. 20, level 19. Yeah. Cold brew. Okay, this gives cold resistance, eh? Let's see who needs that the most. 67... 52... 
Okay, so let's check off. Hmm. Smart. To actually uh, deal the elemental damage because you are likely to choose the person with the least resistance. Okay, so the rest of the feats seem to have come from here. Electric Brew! Well, who needs this? 87... 70... Okay, 70 wins. So that's Sarek, right? Yes. Alright. Jump. And this is the fire brew. Who needs that one? Eighty-seven, eighty-seven, seventy, seventy. Okay, well, I'll give it to Spock. There's no protection from poison? That's weird. But alrighty then, we can go on to the second level of the place. Let's save first. More flying feet! Double kill. Or quadruple kill, if it's two feet. came from, and this just leaves the place. I expected as much, but no matter. Oh, another Pandorian box. Multi-kill! Lots of gold. Fire brew, another one. So that was. Yes, Sarah can use it. Electric brew. 87. 80. 77. Okay, so Scotty ones. I'm thinking that in the middle here there are more traps. Oh, well, you're new. Still not very difficult to deal with, apparently. I got a steel belt. And everything else. Okay, these are really terrible items. Cold brew. 67, 62. Oh, we are pretty bad with cold resistance. 57, yeah. So, Scotty wins again. Poison brew, finally. Also, that does not sound good to drink whatsoever. Anyway, 57, 52. Okay, so Chekhov wins. And another Pandoran box. Alright. Right. 
So that's second level clear, let's go to the third level. These towers are not very long. They're just quite vertical. <laughs> Alright, this is another poison brew. 57, yeah, I think Kirkwin is this one. Another poison brew. 67, 62. 65, okay, so check off ones. Alright, well, how do I get there? Let's try and teleport here. Hmm. Hello there. I still have no idea what these guys are. They sure like to pop out of chests a lot. And the chests themselves, and the boxes, give lots of items. Lots of bad items. Poisonous cameo. Troll belt, hmm. Well, some of these are fairly okay. Scimitar. Energy brew. That's nice. Seven. I think you can beat seven, actually. Yeah, you cannot beat seven. Did that say electricity? Well, no, that's energy. Okay, maybe I just must try that. Hmm. Still, I don't... Feel comfortable opening things called Pandorian boxes. Probably for a good reason. Probably. This looks like some kind of a dragon thing. But it sure didn't last. Maybe it's some kind of a worm or something? Okay, yeah, well, it actually did a lot of damage. To some members of our party. Not to all. Alright, and opening all these chests is taking a toll on Scotty. But now it's fine. Lots of plate armor, huh? Wow, emerald plate armor. Uh, but we cannot use that. However, it will sell for a lot. Platinum plate armor included. Actually, I have plate mail, right. Still, sapphire is leagues better than emerald, as far as I recall. Magic Brew. Alright. Seven. I don't think you can beat seven either. Yeah. Well, I'll give it to Bones. We are getting plate armors left and right, though they're progressively getting worse. Gold ball, huh. Okay. Well, let's teleport right back. And go back up, which means jumping. Is there an empty... 
empty. Oh, empty niche because we drank the potion that was there, of course. Obviously. Okay, level four. Getting deeper and deeper into this, really. Okay, fine. Teleport right through this wall. Hopefully we will not teleport right onto one. That doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, hi there. Oh, they're saying yes. Oh! Skeleton key to Darzog's tower. Well, well, well. That is the next tower that we will be going to quite soon. And that will mark the beginning of the endgame. So that's something. Let's open this. Ah, two books. Mysteries of Light. Are unable oh, really? Oh, you have learned the spell Prismatic Light. I thought this was just light. Okay, well, this is good. How about this? The Art of Magic. You have learned the Prestigitation skill. Alright. So this is free Prestigitation... Prestigitator skill. For a lot of spell points, and I think... Oh, everyone can learn that, since it's free. Why not? It's not going to give anyone anything, but it increases their skill count, so that's always nice. And what's in this one? A scroll. A scroll? Scroll of Starbursts. Huh. Also a flaming ring. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I can proceed through here. So how about I teleport there? Okay, good call. Wow, these are all good. Another scroll. Scroll of implosions, nice. So again, I should try and recharge those and see if it does anything. Yeah, I think that's... No, oh, there's something else there. So let's teleport right back. And teleport through this too. And this scroll is of another scroll of servers. Okay. So I think we're done here. Just got to go back here. Teleport through this. And let's see what's up here. Oh, the clouds. Okay, I actually do want to go in the clouds. And I got a ring. A rapid ring. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure how that is possible, but hey. Also an ambush? Spear and a wand. A wand, eh? Wand of shelter. We already have like three of those. Yeah. However, it's... well, okay, it's 10 p.m. need to watch the time. Or else being on clouds is going to be very painful. Alright, I can actually see the places. Let's start by walking around. Really? Thunderous clouds of high magic. Actually, it does say 
high magic clouds here. So that's accurate. Okay, so there's a platform of clouds there. And there's also something else there. Okay, I should not have done that. But hey, gems. That's not a whole lot of gems. There's a drum? That sure is a drum. It's kind of confusing, but okay. So, it is 11 p.m. Well, I got to be careful. Jump. Oh, what? It's a cloud golem. Huh. Those exist, apparently. Well, let's see what that is about. Cloud Golem, 30,000 experience, 175 hit points, 15 AC, 26 speed, 2 attacks for 5 to 60 points of damage, electricity damage type, no range attack. Created and turned loose by Lord Zine, Cloud Golems serve to keep adventurers from the clouds. Cloud Golems are 100% immune to electricity and poison attacks. Oh, not physical. 11 p.m. I can still do this. No enemies around. Five more will raise your castle's walls. Taxman opens Golem's halls. Yeah, we've already been there. Been there, done that. Jumps. Offering, who will take? Got a longbow. Emerald longbow. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I think I want to remove the toxic crossbow. Place with this. Okay, what else? there on this cloud. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Still 11.30. Jump. Jump. Hmm, there's something there, but there's also something possibly here? No, apparently not. No, oh, this looks like a shield. This is a shield. It's a uh, deer shield. The deer shield is actually a platinum shield, yes! This is nice. Because... The Emerald Grand Axe. I have a Sapphire Hand Axe, which is a bit worse than the Emerald Grand Axe. But, combined with the platinum shield, this is amazing, because we have 60 AC for Scotty, and he really needed that. Gems and more cloud bombs. Okay, it's twelve. Take the gems. It looks like oh, there's something there. Highest Magic Whole Solutions, Darzog's Dark Convolution. You mean the thing that we just got? Yeah, we just got the thing. <laughs> Still have no idea what that does, but hey. It's a thing, so I might as well do what it wants me to do. Okay, jump. 16. Oh, well. The golems are getting plentiful. Still 
still not much of an issue though. A secret room in Tower Drear holds the land's lost overseer. Uh, you mean Crodo, obviously. These messages sure are not that interesting. Steel Broadsword Bug Zapper. Eh. Could be better. Huh, there's more gems. Hey, I got about a thousand from this. Not bad. Also, almost two million gold. Twelve forty seven. Still enough time to explore some more. Ah, huh, there is another statue and another cloud golem. Evil, vis evil wizard has been beat, you can't yet Lord Zine defeat. Yeah, I didn't think I could, because plot needs to happen before we can defeat Lord Zine, obviously. Longbow? Emerald Longbow Golem Smasher, so that's even better than the regular one. <laughs> Actually, in fact, this is a place with a lot of golems, so this is perfect. Oh, there's something there. I don't think there's anything left over there, so let's go here. 1 a.m. Now it's getting a bit close. Okay, another shield. Thermal shield. Hmm. It would be interesting to imagine that as a sort of industrial shielding thing instead of an actual shield. It's like, okay, well, someone from a power plant or something left this around. Okay, it's 2 a.m. I should get going, probably. Maybe I can loop around like that. That's a lot of cloud golems. Offering another broadsword, platinum. Better than last time, but still not that good. And there's nothing here, so let's. Move closer to where we started from. It's getting real close. It's a power longbow. Another one, huh, okay.
1939. I have not been on that cloud. Oh, there's another offering at the very end of this one. And it is a shocking shield. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six to be safe. Teleport there. There's the drum. I still don't really know what that does, but hey. Looks like that is the end of this pathway. Yep, we are right back on the platforms. Solid ground, yay. Alright, so I guess that will be that. Um, I look into my clue book to see whether I missed something in the clouds here. But next time we will be going somewhere else. So see you all then. Later.